Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for stopping by. We're talking about the tower and shadows. Look at this, shadow on the right side. <laughs> shadow on the left side over here. Shadow on the right side of the object. There's the Apennine Mountains. Now, the shadows are not all on the left side because someone's telling me the shadow's not in the right place for the tower. The shower, uh, shadow could be hidden on top also of this tower in a line with the tower. So we're not gonna get into the shadows, that's for sure. But there it is right there on the surface. And you don't see that because they have the same reflectivity as a surface. So do the structures, so does everyone. Here, look at the inside. How come the shadow's on the right side? So don't talk to me, some of you, about the shadows not being in the right place, okay? I just wanted to have some fun with this, but hey, it's true, it's right there. Uh, on the surface of the moon, uh, Randall, Randall Tufts was even explaining it about the geolocation, different areas of the moon, how uh, the shadows are going to be in different locations on different sides and angles. And it's just really true. See these bumps in the center between both of these craters? They are really there. It's uh, nearby Copernicus Crater. Just absolutely amazing. The detail that we're seeing with this camera, I'm really happy. Very, very happy with um, the new look of the surface and a lot more is going to surface. Look at the connections down on the bottom here. It's just absolutely amazing. Here's an arrow. I get an arrow up so you guys know exactly where I'm talking about. It's just amazing to be able to see the surface in this much detail. The surface was not shown to us this way. We see it as a flat gray surface and it really is not. Here's the Apollo 11 landing site where they supposedly would have landed in 1969. Uh, we see a, a beautiful surface and we see a lot of the detail on the surface, enough for us to know and compare, uh, you know, what they said was down there and what we are seeing. I mean, we're seeing the surface clear enough and we'll, we'll only see it a lot clearer since we have this D850, you know, camera. I'm seeing a whole bunch of connections all over the surface of the moon. It's so, so obvious. And uh, wow, look at that down there. That's just amazing seeing the, the detail on the surface that we were not seeing before with uh, the D3400. So we're going to go see some spectacular close-ups of the surface, guys. Some close-ups of Copernicus Crater. Here's Eratosthenes over there where the towering object is right over there. Uh, I've seen it lying down before. You see three bumps. Uh, I've seen a, a pyramid in the center before. The, understand, uh, some of you, that there are different wavelengths that our eyes cannot see. Different monitors are going to give us different views. Also, following that Terminator line is that line of day and night. It's undescribable. There are, I believe, invisible structures on the surface of the moon that are impossible to see. And when I say invisible, I mean, you know, invisible to the naked eye. And they can only be seen with this Terminator line, as you can see here, showing us all the elevation along its edge. I'll get a lot more footage up, guys. Of course, this is footage from January 17th that I got. It was my first tr time trying the new camera. Very happy I did before the snowstorm. It's still snowing here. I'll get a view of for you guys up tomorrow morning of the snow here. Uh, at least 30 centimeters fell on the ground, and they're announcing more for tomorrow. And I'll be doing more research. I'll get some music up and uh, another late video up tonight, guys. I'll be doing some more research and some more new experiments with this camera. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for the support.
Mikhail Briner, thanks for the generous donations and welcome to the community. Looking forward to interacting with you all in the community section.